We're back, people, and today we're breaking a film on Roman Wilson, Michigan wide receiver for the 2024 NFL Draft, and I feel like just during this whole draft process, he's just been a standout from the Senior Bowl to the Combine, testing really well. A lot of things he just does. He's super crafty. He's tough. He makes a lot of, you know, big-time plays. He's got some, like, field-stretching type of speed, which is good. I really like the Tyler Lockett uh, comparisons because I do think, you know, he is going to be more of a slot at the next level, but I do think he can do some stuff on the outside with his ability to track the ball down the field and make adjustments, has enough speed there to make it on the outside. But yeah, he just does a great job in those areas. And then uh, I feel like he even brings more toughness than Lockett does to work like the middle of the field and stuff like that. While Lockett is like the better tracker, like Lockett's one of the best trackers in all football. But I do like there is some compares comparisons there with the size and speed and uh, making plays down the field that Roman Wilson can bring to your team and he just does a lot of the little things well his the little details within his route stem uh, creating separation with uh, hand movements leaning into DBs and then making adjustments and he also understands how, like, how to slightly adjust his routes based on the coverage that he's getting as you'll see throughout this video he does a lot of the little nuances and then um yeah just watching him work the slot fade here starts out uh with his angle slightly to the outside then gives a little bit back vertically which is able to freeze this db so he gets his natural outside leverage which he wants but then now he wants to freeze this db give him a little bit to the inside and then boom accelerate and then just quick hands very subtle very quick Boom, swipe his hand down to work over the top, and now you're getting uh, just showing off that speed and then make the adjustment. He has pretty reliable hands. He kind of bobbles this one here, but he's still able to hang on to this. Uh, love that recovery to <laughs> hold on to it with your shoulder like that. Make big plays down the field. Just really, really crafty player. Love his game. I just see him as like a day two guy for sure at this point after the senior bowl, which he really played good in. And then at the combine, testing really well, running a good 40 and all that, that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, excited to see where he ends up because I feel like Roman Wilson is going to be, he'll definitely be a little bit dependent on, I think, uh, on scheme. But if he ends up in the right situation, I think he can have a really, really quality career. Um, Wilson right here in the slot. Uh, I think, you know, this is, he's 14 in this picture, <laughs> um, you know, back like, like two years ago. Um, but yeah, he just does a good job beating like those, you know, soft press looks. He can definitely beat man to man quite easily. He's also pretty aware of beating zone uh just getting in and out of his breaks love within the route stem like he attacks leverage he could just take this space right away because a lot of guys within the slot they're just working you know like this crossing route um to the towards the middle of the field with this guy already having like the outside leverage they would just run right away but when you do that it like they obviously are able to recognize it a lot quicker and they have an easier angle to get to you so by him pressing up for the first few steps it gets this guy to open up his hips and now he has a really free reign to get to the middle of the field Plus, if he does that, uh, the safety could easily get eyes on it quicker. And now he's able to, you know, win this route just by taking a few steps, the craftiness. And he's like, he does a good job with his pace too. Like it starts with a slower pace. And then once he's ready to break the inside, boom, quick acceleration. He has an extra gear to get it. And then he makes, you know, a nice hands catch, get into the end zone. And he's just a very clutch player. He made so many clutch catches throughout his career. And especially, you know, this season with Michigan on, you know, their, their champs run that he uh, made a lot of big plays when it mattered the most. Now, usually with a player like Roman Wilson, like with his his size and, you know, a lot of the plays he made in college, like over the middle of the field, you're thinking he's like a strictly slot guy, but he can, I think, line up on the outside and make some plays. He has that ability, uh, that speed to get down there, but he also has the ability to adjust and make tough catches because a lot of the smaller guys, um, they kind of struggle down the field because, you know, you have to be very accurate uh, they're not just good at making tough catches in contested situations or making adjustments. But Wilson has the speed, the tracking ability, uh, the toughness, the ability to stay calm under pressure, and then just make these really acrobatic plays in the air. That's why I think he can do some things on the outside. I mean, good route here too with the double move. Getting over the top, ball is underthrown. He makes this adjustment. Get back into him. Uh, get your hands on the DB to make that adjustment. It's just really good to just win straight vertically. He just gives a quick speed release off the line versus some soft press. Um, maybe give, you know, a little bit of a foot there. Split. Boom. Now get into speed. Dip your shoulder. Love that he gets into this football position very quickly. Like, I feel like, you know, maybe he could have timed this up a little better. Maybe harder stabbed the inside to make this guy, you know, maybe open up. But he's just so quick off the line that he's able to get onto his path, stack this DB like it's nothing. Now he just tracks it over the shoulder really well. So you can see he's ready to work vertically. Maybe that vertical deep threat down the field. Love that part of his game because I think that's why he ends up being a day two selectionist. His ability to be a deep threat, long game changing speed type of player. Because usually 
um, the smaller like slot guys, which he'll kind of be seen as. John 3 at the earliest, and then a lot of day 3. But I think Roman Wilson, this is where he can really stand out because he can do the slot receiver stuff that you want him. Uh, work the middle of the field, be a chain mover because he did that a lot, but then also come in and potentially be a deep threat with the speed and tracking which is very important and the ability to make tough catches down the field because a lot of not a not a lot of guys are able to do that at his size at a consistent level and wilson is, uh, does it very very well um just pretty solid route here um i feel like as like his route tree was kind of limited at michigan i want to see him run more of the route tree i think he probably could have broke this off a little more sharply but he just does a good job with his angles like really flattening this stuff out um because he kind of took a little bit of a run and break, but then he really flans and pulls away from the DB, always making tough catches with his hands, very comfortable. And I would like to see more like yards after the catch from him. I feel like that's something he can really, you know, excel at. Here we get to see him like in motion, and this is something I think that can translate really well to the next level. I feel like he would excel in like any of the Shanahan trees, you know, that like to use this stuff, whether it's uh, you know the Niners themselves or like the Dolphins Packers using like these this motion like this get him his momentum going and I love his ability the craftiness the nuance in his game just because a lot of guys would just work straight across try to win with speed right away but this DB would have a great angle if he just went across instantly but he takes a few steps up the field presses into this guy to freeze him like that and then now is able to create separation and freezes him makes this guy shoot his hands he dips and avoids with his shoulders the subtle little nuances to his his game and now he accelerates across Nice hands catch uh, away from the frame there um, and is able to, you know, fight for some yards after the catch too. That's just really, really beautiful. And then, yeah, just last little play to look look at here. We're missing the first start of it, but just another uh, area, you know, where he makes some tough catches down the field. Uh, but, yeah, just a lot of good stuff looking at Roman Wilson's uh, tape, the subtle nuances to it, the acceleration press up into this DB. I really do like think he's super crafty and he's tough to work like the middle of the field um and it's just the the angles if you look at the stuff he makes a lot of adjustment angles he makes things like uh, a lot of split second decisions on what he's trying to do to manipulate the db but then get back exactly where he needs to be to be on the same page with his quarterback so he's just a really reliable guy uh really enjoy watching his film i feel like he's just a big time playmaker that can do things on uh, multiple different levels outside inside um, really see him excelling as in the slot at the next level, but being a slot that can uh, be more than just your uh, short to intermediate threat while also being a guy that can you know, work on fades, things like that. So I see Roman Wilson being like a QB's best friend uh, at the next level. So if you have to do, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and see the